The SAP Fury versions offers three different types of applications. First, there are the transactional apps. These allow you to execute a business process such as creating a production order or creating a purchase order. Then there are the fact sheets. These allow you to display the main information about a particular object such as the main information about a supplier or a customer. Finally, there are the analytic apps, which allow you to create graphs and statistics in order to obtain reporting information based on business processes. Let's continue within the Fury application in order to show concretely how the application or how the three different application types look like. First, we will start with the um, transactional applications. And let's take the example of the create document application. So I use the search help here and I press enter to directly jump into the application. So typically this um, application create document will execute a particular transaction which is uh, linked to a particular business process. The business process is to create a document. So this application is typically a transactional application in the Fury application. Let's continue by presenting the second type of application in Fury, which is the fact sheet. So let's take, for example, here, the application manage customer data. So I will use the search, press enter, and here I will select and execute the transaction or the application manage customer master data. So I will click on it and you will see the difference between the transactional application and the fact sheet. So here I have to search for a specific customer. I will select, for example, a one which this one, for example, the test one, and I will see the information or the main information about this specific test customer. So here you have the header and here you have the details information about this specific customer. So this is the difference between the analytical apps on which you can execute a particular process. And this is just a, a, an information application about a specific technical object. And especially in this case, a customer, but you can also display a supplier, you can also display a client and so on. And you will get information about this specific technical object. You will not be able to execute or to perform a specific business process just to get some main information and details information about this technical object. Finally, let's conclude this video by presenting the last application type, which is the analytic apps. So I will use search help and to present it, I choose the application purchase group activities, which is um, here an analytic apps. So purchasing group here, I will select the application and you can see the difference between now an analytic apps and a transactional and fact sheets. So here in this case, you will have information about the number of contracts and number of orders by purchasing group here, purchasing group 001, 002, 003 and so on. So in this case, on this type of application, you will get some reporting tool and analytics, graphs and statistics regarding a specific business process. 
So it's really different than the one on which you can execute a particular business process, which are transactional app. Then you have the fact sheets on which you will get some detail and main information about specific technical object. And these ones which display or um, give you some um, information with statistics, graphs and diagram by using some reporting and KPI. So this is the main difference and how they look like in theory application.